Um, so I'm Palestinian, and you know, Palestinian dads, they have a thing. They just have to whoop their kids. So I remember my first whooping. Don't act like you guys never got your ass whooped, because I did. And I always knew when my dad was going to whoop my ass, because the first thing he did was curse himself out. He was like, you not a whoop yet, Judd! Then, after that, he just looks at me and reaches for his belt. It's not no ordinary belt. It's that big belt with the big camel buckle. The one that says Jerusalem all the way around. So he reaches for it, you know, and then luckily for me, my mom just jumps right in. I'm like, oh, I'm the dad. Mom's gonna save the day. So my dad, you know, they're married like for like 40 years or whatever. And he looks at her like she's some complete stranger. That's how Arab parents that are married, they refer to each other. They don't refer to each other honey, sweetie, or, you know, by their first name. They refer to them like, Im Hassan. <laughs> complete stranger like I'm from the street. Shufi Ibnich. Look at your son, what he's doing. So right then, my mom looks at me and she's just like, Asa! Which means stick, by the way. And she reaches for a slipper. I'm like, oh shit. Two against one, right? Starts throwing slippers at me. And she's got two slippers on, and she's got two feet. Somehow there's like 20 slippers around. I'm jumping around. I'm doing the fucking depth chart, right? This is apparently this is the training method for Palestinian parents to teach their kids depth chart. Go 20 slippers, and you're just fucking going crazy. Oh man. So the summertime's coming up. You guys excited about that? Nice. I'm fucking out. I hate the fucking summer. Uh, any Palestinians here? Awesome. So you know what that means? Barbecues and weddings galore. So we had a barbecue the other day, and uh, everything in an Arabic barbecue, we just can't figure out barbecues. Everything tastes like kufta. There's no other meat. No hot dogs, no hamburgers, no chicken wings, just kufta. <laughs> God forbid I ask my dad for a hamburger. I'm like, yeah, Abba, can I have a hamburger? There is no ham in my burger. Don't say this in this house. Shit. So then my uncle shows up to this barbecue, right? Who likes to translate everything that he says in Arabic, then English. So he's like, oh, salam alaikum, how? Peace upon everybody. I'm like, hey, Abmi, how are you doing? Alhamdulillah, I'm very good, very good. I'm like, sir, you just got that new Mercedes, huh? Aha, masboot, yeah. I'm like, Abmi, please, you know, I understand perfect Arabic. I know, Baris, it's okay. Baris, English. So now we're done with the barbecue, right? We got, you know, we don't, like, Arabs, we just don't roast marshmallows or do fun things with the leftover char. No, what do we do? We get that big-ass aluminum teapot that's rusting. Bam! Right there, right on the barbecue grill, right? We gotta make some tea, some shag. And so, here we are, we're boiling this water that probably tastes like kufta for like two hours. And uh, there's only one way to drink shag. I know you guys know it, and that's with Nana, right? The Nana is the mint, spearmint. And that's okay, you know, you guys are probably wondering, like, all you Nana is, where are you gonna get some mint, like, 10 o'clock at night? Let me, let me let you in a little secret, all right? When my dad came to this country, he made sure to plant some Nana in our backyard, the neighbor's backyard, your uncle's yard, every park in the 20-mile radius, just in case you guys want a barbecue at that park. <laughs> Even at the cemetery. <laughs> so, we don't even have grass in our, in our uh, house. My lawn is just completely nana. So when I mow the lawn on the weekend, the whole block just smells like mint. Everybody's eyes are burning and shit. So if we're not at a barbecue, we're at a wedding, right? One of the bajillion freaking weddings. I was at a wedding Sunday, oh my god. Same routine, you're hanging out, you're chilling, everything's cool. And then you get these, one of these old ladies, I don't know who even invited that old lady, but she just decides she just wants to come out there 
with her all her gold. Looks like she just came out of Mr. T convention. Right? What's she doing? <laughs> American and um, we have a, like a weird way of talking with our parents but um, we use words like idgying, sullying, we just like to add ing like English grammar and everything. So, so back to the wedding, I don't know where they get these Arab wedding singers but apparently they only know like 20 words in English and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret what they know. I mean, they do great, great music and everything, but this is how it goes. Usually, it's the only 20 words that they know. The cheese cuts the cake. The bride cuts the cake. Hi-ho, the merry -o, The groom cuts the cheese. That's my time, guys. Thank you so much.